Welcome to Cooking with Carrie, and I want you to meet the mandolin. So this is uh, our new Bon Cook mandolin. Awesome, awesome tool. A few things I love about it. One is that it is foldable, so this bottom just folds. You can store it in a um, very shallow drawer, and the bottom just folds out, and it's nice and sturdy. It's got these rubber feet, so it's uh, non-slip also. And then I love that there are no like little pieces that are going to get lost or you know, misplaced or something like that. You've just got the mandolin itself, you've got the um, guard that is going to keep your fingers safe, and then you've got the top of the guard to um, push your veggies in as they get lower. So this just slides right here on the side, and then you are good to go. Um, when you store your mandolin, um, it's going to store it as zero, it's like a lock setting, and so that's going to store this blade a little bit lower than the deck, so that you can't cut your fingers on the blade when it's in, stor in storage. Um, and then it was going to do smooth, you can do smooth slices, you can do julienne, and you can do um, waffle fries, and I'll show you those at the end, so that's really fun. Okay, so just to get started, I've got a um, zucchini here, and you can just do your zucchini on any slight setting you want. I usually do for roasting, like a three or four, so I'll set it on three, and um, you can use this here. It's just going to do your slices really fast and easy, you can see just how even those are, how uniform they are. So voila, you've got your perfect slices. And um, you can see you can go really, really fast. So as you're getting down lower here, you can then just put your um, the other guard on here. And then you wanna remember you're gonna push with the heel of your hand and you wanna push down a little bit with the, your fingers. So you've kind of got a, um, just like So super easy, super fast. And then your zucchini is done. Slide that over. Here is my little scraper. That works really well for that. And then if you want to do thinner slices, like say you wanted to do something like um, a coleslaw or something. So maybe you've got a, a cabbage and you want to do it on a very thin slice. So you're going to set it here on one. And that's going to do a nice thin slice. So we'll do a few of those so you can see. And here is your super thin. If you want it thicker, you can just set it on a two um, or three, whatever you want. But I prefer very thin for coleslaw type salads. All right, and we'll move that. The scraper comes in handy for moving your veggies. And then, let's see. Okay, then say you wanted to do something like au gratin potatoes. Um, so I would do a setting of um, two for au gratin potatoes. But I'm gonna show you the, um, uh, fries. So your, your julienne. So if you want to zoom in here again, so then we're going to slide this little thing to the large julienne. It's going to pop up one row of blades right here. And um, then you're going to set this one to match. So you can see it goes to the biggest setting and these two pictures match to make it foolproof. Super simple. So then just slide it down, slide it down, and you've got these perfect french fries. How awesome is that? And then um, earlier, I did some um, French fries with sweet, sweet bleh, excuse me, sweet potatoes. So you can see you've got your choice there. Okay, <clears throat> then um, you can also do a small julienne. So you're gonna just slide this one over to the smallest julienne, and you're gonna put this one straight up at the two. Again, these pictures match to make it foolproof. So then you're going to do something like the matchstick carrots. So just set your carrots in here and you're just gonna push them down onto this little guard again. You can take, check and make sure that they're on there. And then do a few slices. And you can see what those look like. All right, so here is your matchstick carrots. Perfect for sauteing or anything that you wanna do. Throw those in your coleslaw, whatever you wanna do. Okay, then for the fun part. All right, so now you're going to um, actually pull these two blades down. Let me get this to the side here. Um, pull these two blades down, so set it back onto the smooth setting. We'll set our carrot to the side and get your guard back on here. Um, and you're gonna wanna do, take this, remember I was saying you all the pieces are connected so you're not gonna worry about losing those. Take that out, you pull the little knob out to turn it, Just flip it around, and then you've got this little ridged blade. Put the guard, this guard back down, 
and you're gonna set it on the one setting. So it looks like a waffle fry there to help you know that that's the right setting for it. Okay, so we've got it on smooth here and we've got it set on one here. Let me just make sure that I've got everything cleared out of the way. And then you've got your potato here. And we're gonna go um, down and then pull it back up and do a 90 degree turn. Keep just doing that. Down. 90 degree turn every time. And then you can see these beautiful waffle fries. Look at this. How fun is that? So there are some great ideas um, for doing a wide variety of different foods. If you do have questions, hit me up. Let me know that you've got a question and I'm happy to answer that. Hope that you enjoy your mandolin and get a lot of use out of it. It's just so, such a versatile tool. Thanks a lot.